Hi, my name is Danny, and welcome to Esoteric Moment. I have a bunch of videos that should have been edited and uploaded, but that didn't happen. So instead I'm doing a quick update video while I am standing on our farm. We closed on August 1st, so we've been here about a week now as I record this. And we were working on our house because it's a fixer-upper. Uh, that That is happening, but all of our projects went a little askew. So we tried refinishing the floors ourselves, but the sander just wasn't strong enough for the type of finish that were already on the floors after we ripped up the carpet. So then we went back to Home Depot to rent like a bigger sander and that one wasn't available and we only had a larger car to transport things for so long. So that was interesting. Um, we're redoing the bathroom. We're going to hire a plumber to redo the pipes because we need to rearrange it. It doesn't have a shower right now and it has sloped ceilings so you can't even put a shower where the tub is right now because my husband would not be able to stand up straight. The ceiling is sloped that far. So we bought a lot of tile, spent a lot of time at Home Depot. Uh, I think we're gonna finish the, that demo today, uh, hopefully, mostly. We ran into some old vermiculite insulation that we think has fallen from the attic and there's a strong chance that it has asbestos in it. So. We're kind of deciding how we want to to handle that remedial process particularly it's just a small section but you know got to be careful um the actual land is beautiful the pears should be ripe like next week or maybe two weeks later we found out that there are plums here that we didn't know and there were big tomato plants waiting for us and lots of flowers. The garden is just in really beautiful shape. We figured out where we want to put our garden next year, raised beds for like tomatoes or crops that need a lot of attention, and then we'll do the rest of our things with swales and permaculture, and we're still walking the land and figuring out how that will work here on this property. We don't want to do anything major until we really understand this land and what it needs and how we can work to the things that it gives us but I think the permaculture will work really well here and our plans should be a good fit. We were really excited to see the stream is still running. We were slightly worried that maybe that was just like a winter snow melt spring but it seems to go all year round so far. There is bee balm everywhere in the pastures. Uh, sadly, it's a really like bitter, spicy flavor, uh, but the butterflies love it, so that's great. We probably just won't be like drinking it or using it in tea as much as I would like. I might need a different cultivar for a better flavor. Lots of Queen Anne's lace flowers, the nettles, kind of past the prime for eating, but we've got like a small batch by the barn, which I think will be really great for taking care of allergies and making nettle soup, which is delicious. It's just a really peaceful, beautiful place, and I'm so glad that we're here. I can't wait for the house to be in a little better shape so that we can move in, and then we can spend our time working on the projects that we really love, which is gardening and planting trees and just spending time outside. I'm also looking forward to finding a place where I could do maybe a stone circle or an Ideally, I would love to like plant an actual grove of some sacred trees and have that as being my outdoor spiritual place, but we're going to have to find the right spot and make sure that the spirits of place here, you know, that's something that they want to. We'll see what happens. Thanks for your patience as I get things finished and videos uploaded. I hope you guys are having an awesome summer. If anyone has done home renovation before, please, in the comments, give me all of your advice because I think I was a little naive in how much we could accomplish in a limited amount of time. I know we can accomplish it. I'm just shocked at how long everything's taking. So if you have advice about home renovations or, you know, buying property in general, adulting tips below, please. 
Thanks for watching, and as always, may you find peace in the sacred grove.